For two consecutive years, Robin Soderling earned the spotlight in Paris, putting his picture on the covers without winning the Roland Garros title. In 2009, Soderling stunned World No. 1 Rafael Nadal in the fourth round and delivered the Spaniards' first loss at his beloved major. Since 2004, Nadal had lost just three matches on clay in the best-of-five format, with the first of those standing as one of the biggest surprises in tennis history. Ranked 25th, the Swede had only 15 major wins before Paris and no results better than the third round. He had never beaten Nadal in three encounters and won just one game in Rome a few weeks earlier on the same surface. The Spaniard entered the Roland Garros clash as a clear favourite, winning all 31 previous matches in Paris and chasing the fifth consecutive crown. Rafa had lost just 24 games Rafa had lost just 24 games in the opening three rounds before facing Robin, who was on a different level that day. Soderling toppled Nadal 6-2, 6-7, 6-4, 7-6 in three hours and 30 minutes on court Philippe Chatria for his career-best win and one of the biggest surprises in the history at majors. Rafa certainly was not at his best. He would miss the grass season due to knee tendinities, although we cannot take anything from Robin's victory, as he did just about everything right to earn it fair and square. Hitting the ball on the rise from both wings, Soderling tamed his ground strokes to avoid cheap errors that would have cost him at least one more set if he was not careful.